Yo, what's going on y'all? This is your boy Haba, Nick, or no Haba, and I'm bringing you a brand new video here today. And in this one, we're just gonna make it short and sweet for the intro. If you enjoyed today's video, leave a like, comment down below. Let me know what you wanna see from me in the future. Uh, Dirk just dropped a new song a couple days ago called uh, uh Ha. I, I think that's how you pronounce it. So uh, I think I'm gonna be trying to make a beat kind of in that style um, and show you guys process along the way but uh if it turns into something else then the title should tell you everything you need to know but with all that said let's just hop right into it don't respond all right so i have the rich ballad piano pulled up here and uh we're just gonna cook up with it i might swap this instrument out later but for now i'm gonna start with the piano all right so i'm in the c sharp major scale my bpm is 157 and i'm just gonna start making something I'm actually gonna swap up my uh, scale to the C sharp minor scale. All right, so I'm gonna start off with this simple, simple chord uh, and it plays for four bars. It's just this. I'm gonna Alt S it, strumize it a little bit and Alt R it to randomize it a little bit. And yeah, we're gonna roll with this. And then I'm gonna use other instruments and stuff to create top melodies and that sort of stuff. All right, so I got this choir out of contact, uh, the Choir Essentials Bank, and I like how it sounds. Uh, so I'm gonna add some effects to it. I'm gonna add an EQ. I'm gonna add some reverb, turn it down a little bit. And uh, now I'm gonna add a Fruity Love filter. Yeah, I really like how that's sounding. So I'm gonna add this uh, violin. But I don't really like how it's cutting out, so I'm gonna extend it and then do, uh, if you come down here to the control thing, you can do, what is it, channel volume. Um, and I'm just gonna have it slowly come out. I'm gonna even extend it a little bit more. Yeah, I like that. So I'm gonna add some effects and stuff to it to uh, get it more to my liking. So for this one, for the strings, I'm gonna add this Fruity Love filter. I just move this to the bottom right and turned up the cut slightly. And then uh, I added a reverb and I'm adding this Pan Man with a slight pan, a uh, pretty low width. You guys see it all there. But uh, yeah, so that's what we got there so far. All right, so I made this melody with uh, this Labs uh, Resonator Music Box. This is a totally free plugin. Shout out Spitfire Audio. Um, but yeah, I like it. Pretty simple pattern. Whoops. But I, th I think it sounds nice. So I'm gonna add some uh, some slight reverb to this. Maybe a little EQ. Yeah, something like that. I like that. Uh, now, I'm gonna see what, like, uh, Crystallizer would sound like on it, maybe? Yeah, so I'm gonna add a Crystallizer, but I turned down the mix level to 32%. All right, so I like this for my uh, for my melody. I'm just gonna duplicate everything over so it's eight bars. And then uh, we're gonna start on drums because I don't really see the point in, uh, in waiting on that. All right, so now I'm gonna start on drums and uh, I know this melody is really repetitive, but Dirk does this with a lot of his songs and then he just has the drums be like heavy and then the melody is just like something simple and somewhat repetitive. Uh, so that's kind of my, like, the way I'm looking at this one. Uh, so we're gonna try to go crazy on the drums, and, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna grab a Spence 808, and I'm gonna grab a clap as well. We're gonna grab this Luger clap. I'm just gonna duplicate that over. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I like this 808 pattern. I think it's heavy hitting. I'm gonna grab the south side hi-hat. Uh, I'm gonna grab the snare. Pretty simple pattern. I'm gonna grab this uh, open hat. Now I'm gonna grab a kick, but for the kick, I'm only gonna emphasize like when we get those three notes right at the beginning. So uh, with that said, uh, actually I'm gonna go in might add a few hi-hat rolls or something. Yeah, so I like that for a hi-hat pattern. Super simple, but effective. Now I'm gonna just mix out my drums and lay out this beat. So this is all mixed out. I'm just gonna throw my uh, my master preset on there and it's just a fruity parametric EQ one with the lows, mids, and highs slightly boosted and a fruity soft clipper with the default settings. Uh, but yeah, now I'm just gonna lay this bad boy out and uh, we'll be out of here. All right, so I got this beat all laid out. Um, I'm just gonna explain it and then you guys can hear the final product afterwards. The beginning, it's just the piano and the music box melody. And then I bring in the choir after uh, the first four bars. Then it's gonna drop into the hook where we have everything playing except for the strings. The strings come in for the second eight. And then for the uh, verse, I just add this little cut right here like I just did. I added a gap here, which is a pretty common uh, thing just to keep it interesting. And what's playing is only the piano and the strings. And then for the second half of the verse, it's only the choir and the music box. So it's uh, quite a little switch up there. Then it breaks off into the bridge. And for the first four of the bridge, it's just the music box, strings, and piano. And then I brought in all the drums for the last four, just cause I want to keep the momentum uh, with all the drums cause it's pretty hard hitting. Uh, all the way throughout this song. So that's gonna do it for me uh, with this video. I'm gonna let the beat take it out, but if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment down below, let me know what you wanna see from me in the future, and subscribe, come along with me for the journey to eight trillion subscribers. But uh, yeah, this is your boy Haba, Nick Ornahaba, and I'm out, peace. Skrrr.